Hello everyone. <clears throat> In this video, uh, we will see one minimization type of problem which has got constraints with uh, greater than or equality symbol. Already we had studied about uh, slack variable and surplus variable and surplus variable we introduce when the inequations are having greater than or equality symbol. Further, we also studied like when we bring in uh, surplus variables, it won't form a basic, uh, uh, it won't be a basic variable because it will have the coefficients as negative one. So for that reason, we used to bring in, uh, we will be bringing in artificial variables. So all those things we'll be seeing here. Uh, the methodology is called as a big M method. So let us understand what exactly is big M method and how do we use that? So solution, primarily we'll be writing this in standard form, standard form of the above LPP is minimize Z, which is equal to 10 times X1 plus 15 times X2 plus 20 times x3 subject to 2 times x1 plus 4 times x2 plus 6 times x3. For the first constraint, we'll be introducing one surplus variable. So we have to subtract it because it is having a greater than or equality symbol. Then second constraint, 3 times x1, 9 times x2, 6 times x3 another surplus variable, there is no S1 in the second constraint, so 0 times S1, there is no S2 in the first constraint, 0 times S2, and uh, since this is not going to be a basic variables, in order to bring in a basic variable, we are going to bring in artificial variable for the first one as 1 times A1, and for the second one, 1 times A2, so here there is no A1, so 0 times A1. Here there is no A2, so 0 times A2. Now we can equate this to 24 and 30. Now here, uh, whatever we brought in, we have to bring in in the objective function also. Slack, sorry, surplus variables. So I'll write here plus 0 times S1, 0 times S2. And for this artificial variables, uh, since this is of a minimization type of problem, since this is a minimization type of problem, we'll be bringing in a coefficient m. Means if the objective function is of minimization type, we are going to bring in positive m times a1 plus positive m times a2, where this capital M tends to infinity. Means we are going to ultimately select minimum z value only. So if this is infinity, that won't become minimum, that won't become a minimum z value. For that reason, we are putting a positive coefficient for m. Uh, I mean, positive M, positive M here, right? That is the reason we say it is a very large number. That is what it is. And then S1, comma S2 are surplus variables. And then A1, A2 are, already we spoke about it, artificial variables. Now, before we start our simplex method or before we create our simplex uh, table, we will convert this minimization type of problem to maximization type means minimizing Z is the same as maximizing minus Z. So I'll say maximize minus Z. Since it is minus of Z, I'll take opposite sign to all this. It will become minus 10 times x1, minus 15 times x2, minus 20 times x3, and then zero, it is anyway zero, so whether minus or plus, it doesn't matter. So plus time, zero times s1, plus zero times s2, minus 
m times a1 minus m times a2. So the objective function has, uh, has been changed like this. Now we will bring in all these things in our, uh, one more thing, I have to write that also, x1, x2, x3, s1, s2, a1, a2, all are non-negative. Now we can bring in our table. I just made a ready-made table here. Okay, now let us write down these numbers. Okay, let it be. I should not have touched it. I'm sorry. Okay, so this is negative 10. This is negative 15. This is negative 20. This is 0. This is 0. This is negative m. This is negative m. Okay, then let us see uh, the coefficients, means technological coefficients, which are two, four, six, minus one, zero, one, zero. And this is 24, right hand side constants. Then second row, three, nine, six, zero, minus one, zero, one, and 30. Okay, now what are the basic variables? The artificial variables forming an identity matrix, so that will become your basic variables. So here it is A1, A2, because in that order, 1, 0, 0, 1. So first A1 will come and then A2 will come. What are the coefficients of those artificial variables? It is negative M and negative M. Now let us calculate Cj minus Zj. As already discussed in our previous video, Cj minus Zj for the basic variables will become zero only. So for A2 and A1, A1 and A2, I need not calculate. I can simply write zero here. Only the rest we have to calculate. So let us calculate the rest. First one, C1 minus Z1. What is C1? It is negative 10 minus of what is Z1? It is minus M into 2. So it is minus 2M. Then minus M into 3, it is minus 3M. So what is that? This inside it is minus 5m, but there is a negative outside. So I'll make it as positive 5m minus 10. That is our C1 minus Z1. Now what is C2 minus Z2? C2 is negative 15 minus of minus 4 into minus m into 4 minus 4m minus m into 9 minus 9m. So together it is minus 13m. I can simplify this minus or minus, it becomes 13m minus 15. Then next one, C3 minus Z3. C3 is negative 20 minus, so minus m into 6. So let me write whatever we have already calculated. This is 5m minus 10. This is 13m minus 15. And next one, minus 20 times, this one, if you look into it, is minus 6m, minus 6m. So it becomes minus 12m. Ultimately, it is 12m minus 20. Let me write that 12m minus 20. Then C4 minus Z4. C4, it is 0 minus of, what is Z4? Minus m into minus 1. It becomes positive m. And then next one, minus m into 0, it is 0. So I can ignore it. So ultimately it is minus M. So let me write here minus M. Then C5 minus Z5. What it is? 0 into minus M. It is 0. Let me write first 0 minus of 0. Minus M into 0 is 0. Minus M into minus 1. It is plus M. So it is ultimately minus M. So here also I'll write minus M. Now, which is the 
uh, most positive Cj minus Zj. Of course, this is negative. This is negative because M is positive infinity. M is positive infinity. Here it is negative infinity means it is definitely not positive. These are all zeros. So I you can ignore all this, right? Among these 5M here, here it is 13M, here it is 12M. Of course, the most positive will be 13M because 13 times infinity is much greater than 12 times infinity or 5 times infinity. So 13M will be the most positive. Let me put a inward arrow mark to that particular column. Like this. Okay, now let us calculate the ratio 24 by 4, 24 by 4. Just a moment. Yeah, 24 by 4 is 6. Then the next one, 30 by 9. 39 by 9 will be something like 3 point, 3 point something. So approximately 3, 3, 9 threes are 27. Again, 3.3 something, right? So the among these two, the least positive is the second one. So I will put outward arrow to that particular column, sorry, row. So our outgoing variable will be this variable means A2. Incoming variable will be X2. So we can now bring in the next table. Yeah. So here it is again minus 10, minus 15, minus 20, 0, 0, minus m, minus m. And uh, we already said this a2 will move out and what will come in? x2 will come in. So here, x2 will be there instead of a2. a1 will remain as a1. Coefficient of a1 is minus m. Coefficient of x2 is minus 15. Okay. Now, what is the pivotal element? The intersecting element is the pivotal element. So here, if you look into this is the pivotal row, this is the pivotal column. So the pivotal element is this nine. That means I need to divide this entire row by nine. Let's do that. Three by nine becomes one by three. Then nine by nine is one. 6 by 9, 6 by 9 becomes 2 by 3. 0 by 9 is 0, minus 1 by 9. This will be 0 by 9, so it is 0. 1 by 9 is 1 by 9. 30 by 9, I'll retain it as 30 by 9. 30 by 9 can be simplified as 10 by 3. 10 by 3, yeah. So now we are supposed to find the new row 2, sorry, new row 1. New row 1. Already we saw how do we write this formula. So above this means this particular position we need 0. So we will go and check in the previous table what is that. It is 4. Here I would write the opposite sign of that. Negative 4 times new row 2 plus since we are trying to find out new row 1, I will write here old row 1. So based on this formula, you are supposed to find out this values. Let's do that. New row 2 into negative 4. So minus 4 into 1 by 3 first one. So it becomes minus 4 by 3. Minus 4 into 1, it is minus 4. Minus 4 into 2 by 3, it is minus 8 by 3. Minus 4 into 0, it is 0. Minus 4 into minus 1 by 9, it is 4 by 9. Minus 4 into 0, it is 0. Minus 4 into 1 by 9, it is minus 4 by 9. Minus 4 into 10 by 9, it is minus 40 by 3. To be added with old row 1. 
what is volt rho one values? Two four six. Two four six, and then minus one zero one. Minus one zero one. Finally, it is zero and twenty four. So what is this? Two minus four by three, it becomes uh, six minus four by three. So it is two by three. This will be zero. Then six minus eight by three, it is eighteen minus eight. Eighteen minus eight is ten by three. This will be negative one. This is four by nine. This is one minus four by nine. And what about this? Twenty four minus forty. By three, this is three. This is seventy-two minus forty. Seventy-two minus forty becomes two thirty-two by three. Yeah. So let's substitute those values. Two by three. First one is two by three. Zero. Then. Uh, Ten by three minus one, and then four by nine one, and then minus four by nine thirty two by three. Let me check once. Two by three zero minus ten by three minus one. Four by nine, one minus four by nine, thirty-two by three. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's calculate the C J minus Z J value. As already discussed, whatever basic variables which are occurring, there I can go and write it as zero. First one is A one, so I can write here zero, and then X two I can write here zero. Now, what is C one minus Z one? C one is minus ten minus of Z one. Z one is Minus two m by three, and then uh, minus fifteen into one by three is minus five. And what is that? It is minus ten. Minus uh, there is a minus or minus, so I'll write it as plus two m by three plus five. So it is ultimately two m by three minus five. I can write here two. M by three minus five. Okay, now the next one C three minus Z three. C three negative twenty minus of uh, Z three. Z three is minus M into ten by three minus ten M by three minus fifteen into two by three. Fifteen uh, by three is minus five. Minus five into two is minus ten. So we get what it is minus twenty plus ten m by three plus ten, or I can simplify this as ten m by three minus ten. Ten m by three minus ten. Now uh, this one, this one is what C three, sorry C four minus Z four. Let's calculate that. What is C four? C four is zero minus of Z four. Z four is minus m into minus one. It is plus m. Fifteen into zero. It is zero. So it is only plus m. That means this will become negative m. I can fill up there negative m. Then C five minus Z five. What is C five? C five is zero minus of Z five. Z five is minus m into four by nine. Minus m into four by n uh, nine is minus four m by nine. And then fifteen minus fifteen into minus one by nine plus fifteen by nine. So this ultimately becomes. Four m by nine 
minus 15 by 9. I can write this 4m by 9 minus 15 by 9. Okay, now what is that last one? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So C7 minus Z7. What is C7? Minus M minus of Z7. Z7 is minus M into minus 4 by 9. It is 4M by 9. And then minus 15 into 1 by 9, it is minus 15 by 9. So, which becomes minus m minus 4m by 9 plus 15 by 9. Let me take a common denominator 9. So, this becomes minus 9m minus 4m plus 15 means this is ultimately minus 13m plus 15 by 9 minus 13m plus 15 by 9 plus 15 by 9. Right. Now we then all the Cj minus Zj values among this which is the most positive. If you look into 2 by 3 is less than 1, 4 by 9 is less than 1, whereas 10m is more than 1, that means this should be the most positive Cj minus Zj. Which one? This column. Let me just put a downward arrow to that. Now, let us calculate the ratio. 32 by 3 divided by 10 by 3. So, ultimately, it is 32 by 10. 32 by 10. Okay. Next one. 10 by 3 divided by 2 by 3 is ultimately 10 by 2. 10 by 2 is 5. So, least is this 32 by 10. So, I can put an outward arrow mark to that. 32 by 10, that will be the least because it is 3.2. 3.2 is of course less than 5. Let me put an outward arrow mark to this. Let me color this to black. Okay. So we got this as the pivotal column, this as the pivotal row. That means the pivotal element is what? This intersecting element, which is 10 by 3, that is the pivotal element. Let's now proceed to the next table based on whatever we learned. Okay. Now, what happens is this A1 will go, X3 will come in. X3 will come in. A1 will go. Second variable remains as it is. What is that? X2. X2 will be X2 only. And what are these? X1 is negative 10. This is negative 15. This is negative 20. This is 0, 0. This is negative m, negative m. And coefficients, this is negative 20. This is negative 15. Okay. Now, what is to be divided? All these elements to be divided by 10 by 3. Dividing by 10 by 3 is same as multiplying by 3 by 10. Dividing by 10 by 3 is same as multiplying by 3 by 10. So, 2 by 3 into 3 by 10 becomes 2 by 10. 2 by 10 is nothing but 1 by 5. Nothing but 1 by 5. Okay. Next one. 0 into 3 by 10 is 0 only. Then next one will become 1. Then this negative 1 into 3 by 10 is negative 3 by 10.
then negative sorry 4 by 9 into 3 by 10 let me write it here 4 by 9 into 3 by 10 this goes 3 times this is 2 twos are 2 fives are so it is 2 by 15 so i can write there 2 by 15 then for a1 1 into 3 by 10 it is 3 by 10 then the next one negative 4 by 9 into 3 by 10 opposite of whatever we wrote here in s2 opposite sign of whatever we wrote that means it is negative 2 by 50 and rhs uh, 32 by 3 into 3 by 10 32 by 3 into 3 by 10. This gets cancelled. So we get 32 by 10 or 16 by 5. So I can write 16 by 5. Okay. Now, uh, which is the pivotal element that is x3. So below that we should get 0. Means here we should get 0. So let us go back to the previous table to identify what is that element. The element is 2 by 3, so I should consider negative 2 by 3. Means nu row 2 will be negative. What is that element? 2 by 3. So negative 2 by 3 times nu row 1 plus old row 2. So let me first multiply negative 2 by 3 into this row 1 elements. Uh, it will become minus 2 by 15 then 0 minus 2 by 3 then uh, minus minus it is plus 2 by 10 2 by 10 is nothing but 1 by 5 then this one uh, minus 4 by 45 minus 4 by 45 then uh, 3 3 gets cancelled minus 1 by 5 then this one, if you multiply it, is positive 4 by 45. Then if you multiply these two, it is negative 32 by 15. To be added with old row 2 elements. Old row 2. 1 by 3, 1, 2 by 3. 1 by 3, 1, 2 by 3. Then 0 minus 1, 0. 0 minus 1, 0. Then 1 by 9, 10 by 3. 1 by 9, 10 by 3. Now let us add these two. If you add 1 by 3 minus 2 by 15, LCM is 15. 3 fives are minus 2, it becomes 3 by 15. 3 by 15 is nothing but 1 by 5. And this is 1. This will be 0. This will be 1 by 5. Now here, minus 1, minus 4 by 45. And this will become minus 45, minus 4 by 45. So it is minus 49 by 45. Is it correct or not? This minus 4 by 45, I need to check once again. Minus 2 by 3 into new row 1. Uh, this is x1, x2, x3, s1, s2. 2 by 3 into 2 by 15. 2 by 15 is correct or what? S1. Uh, S2. 4 by 9 into 3 by 10. This is 12 by 90. Uh, 3 4s are 3 30s are 
2 by 15, correct only, it is 2 by 15 only. Okay. 2 by 15 is correct. Okay. Now, u rho 1 into 2 by 3. So, it becomes 2 into 2 minus 4, 45. Okay. This number is negative 1. Not negative 1. It is negative 1 by 9. I made a mistake there. Negative 1 by 9. So, this is wrong. This calculations. So, minus 4 by 45, minus 1 by 9, LCM is 45. So, this is 4, this is 5. So, we have minus 9 by 45. Uh, this will become minus 1. This has become minus 1 by 5. This will be minus 1 by 5. This will be opposite of this. So, it is simply 1 by 5. Then, uh, I can calculate it here. 10 by 3 minus 32 by 15. LCM is 15. So, here it becomes 3 5s are. So, 50 minus 32, which is 18 by 15. Now, 3 6 are 18. 3 5s are 15. So, 6 by 5. This is 6 by 5. Let me fill that. Fill this all this. 1 by 5, 1, 0, 1 by 5, minus 1 by 5, uh, again minus 1 by 5, 1 by 5, and then 6 by 5. Let's verify. 1 by 5, 1, 0, 1 by 5, minus 1 by 5, minus 1 by 5, 1 by 5, and 6 by 5. Yes. So now we can calculate Cj minus Zj. For these two basic variables, I can write it as 0. So, x3 is 0, x2 is 0. So, we have to calculate only the rest. That is, first one is C1 minus Z1. What is C1? C1 is negative 10 minus of, what is Z1? Uh, minus 20 into 1 by 5. It is minus 4 and this is minus 3, minus 4, minus 3, it is minus 7. So, ultimately it is negative 70. Is it? Minus 7. So, it becomes, I'm sorry. Uh, minus 20 into 1 by 5 is minus 4. This is minus 3. Minus 4 minus 3 is minus 7. Minus 7. That means uh, minus or minus 7 is plus 7. So it becomes ultimately minus 3. So the first element is minus 3. Then C4 minus Z4. So what is C4? It is 0. Minus of Z4 minus 20 into minus 3 by 10. Minus into minus, it is plus. 20 by 10 is 2. 2 into 3, it is 6. Then next one. Minus 15 into 1 by 5, it is minus 3. So it is ultimately negative 3. So I can write the negative 3. Then next one, C5 minus Z5. What is C5? It is 0 minus of Z5. Z5 means 20, negative 20 into 2 by 15. So it is negative 40 by 15. Okay. And then positive 3 plus 3. So, ultimately what it is? It is minus of minus 40 plus 45 by 15. So, it is actually 5 by 15, negative 5 by 15 or 
negative 1 by 3. Negative 1 by 3. Then we have C6 minus Z6. What is C6? Negative M minus of Z6 minus 20 into 3 by 10. So it is minus 2 into 3 minus 6. Okay. And then uh, positive 3 plus 3. So it is minus M. Uh, this is minus 3. Minus or minus 3 is plus 3. So it is actually uh, minus M plus 3. Okay, now let me write this C7, isn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, C7 minus Z7. C7 is negative M. Z7 is C7 minus Z7 minus M minus of Z7 is minus 20 into 2 by 15, which is 40 by 15. And then uh, minus 3. So this becomes minus M minus of this is uh, 45. 40 minus 45 is negative 5. Negative 5 by 15 is negative 1 by 3. Negative of negative 1 by 3 becomes positive 1 by 3. So it is ultimately minus m plus 1 by 3. Now, let us check the cj minus zj values here, whatever we obtained to see which is the most positive. This is negative. This is 0. This is 0. This is negative. This is negative. This is also negative because negative m is very large infinity in terms of negative infinity. This is also negative infinity. So none of the cj minus zj are positive. So I can say, I can conclude since all Cj minus Zj less than or equal to zero, we reached optimality. Optimal solution. What are the values we are interested in? We are interested in X1, X2 and X3. Let us go to the last table. What is x1? x1 is not at all available. So I have to put x1 as 0. What is x2? Here x2, I can put that value. Circle this. This is our solution. Means x2 is 6 by 5. x2 is 6 by 5. And X3 is 16 by 5. Okay, so this is what our solution is. So let us find out what is max. Sorry, I think it, the original problem is of minimization. Let me write minimum Z equal to what? Let us go back to the original objective function in the given problem. 10x1 plus 15x2 plus 20x3. Ten times x1 plus 15 times x2 plus 20 times x3, which is 10 times 0 plus 15 times 6 by 5 plus 20 times 16 by 5. This is 0 and this will be 3 times, so it is 18. And this will be 4 times, 16 fours are 64. So the result is 82. So the least value is, minimum Z value is 82. And the solution is X10, X26 by 5, X3, 16 by 5. In case if you find the contents of this video to be useful to you, I request you to please like it. Share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.